Powered Peeps, I'm Ryan to the rescue, and today I'm going to be installing a bio bidet. So let me show you all of the pieces and parts that come in this box, and then we'll get started with the installation. Okay, before you get started with the installation, just take a quick peek at the instruction manual and look at your toilet and the connections to make sure it's all going to fit together. There are some specific measurements that you may need to pay attention to. Once you have that all confirmed, then let's get started. First things first is we are going to remove the toilet seat and everyone's attachments are a little bit different so you'll just have to see exactly what yours are like. But this one turns like this and then this pops up like this. And then you can just unscrew it with a Phillips head screwdriver. There is a plastic nut on the bottom side of this that you can secure as you are unscrewing this. All right, toilet seat is removed. So now I'm going to turn off the water at the wall. After you turn off the water at the wall, you give the toilet a flush to empty the tank. <laughs> Keep flushing as many times as it takes to get the tank empty. Okay, next thing to do is to detach the hose from the bottom of the tank. Not the wall, but the bottom of the tank. Now, I've already emptied the tank, but there will be probably a few drips of water that come out, so I have a towel in place to catch that. This one is attached by a plastic fitting, which is meant to just be unscrewed by hand. However, if yours is metal or if it's fastened on there really tight, you may need to use a wrench like this that you can loosen the nut with. Next, we attach the T-valve, and when you do, you want to make sure this rubber gasket is inside with the pointy side up. So this is going to go on the bottom of the toilet tank. Voila! And then you just tighten it up a little bit with a wrench if you need to. Next we attach the hose that goes from the wall to the tank through the T-valve. Okay, now we have the wall hose hooked up to the bottom of the tank. And this is a plastic fastener, so you just fasten that by hand. You don't do that with a tool. In the box comes plumbing tape. So we're going to put some plumbing tape around the threads of this T-valve and then attach the tube that goes to the bidet. When putting on plumbing tape, you always put it on the threads in a clockwise fashion between three and five times around the threads. After you wrap it around, you can just break the tape off. The tape is made of silicone, so it is just used to fill the gap between these threads and those threads to just make it more waterproof. Next step is you insert these rubber mats into the bottom of the bidet. These will make it non-slip on your toilet and also will provide a little bit of cushion so it doesn't clank around. Then turn it over and put these circular mounting brackets in the top. Then it's ready to go on top of the toilet. You wanna make sure that the sprayers of the bidet are centered in the back of the toilet. Also, Turn these brackets until they line up with the holes in your toilet. Okay, now we're ready to reattach the toilet seat.
Next, we're going to attach the hose to the bottom of the bidet handle. First, I'm going to put a little bit of tape around there. You always put the plumber's tape in the direction of the way you're going to screw the pieces together, and that way it secures the tape as it tightens. Otherwise, if you put it the other way, it'll bunch up the tape. Okay, so everything is attached for the bidet, and now it's time to turn the water back on at the wall, and we'll check for any leaks. It should fill the tank back here, and um, water will start going through all of the um, pipes and tubes. So let's see how we did. Excuse me. So the bidet is all installed, and let me show you how it works. You can turn it this way toward the little image of a booty and voila and then you turn it this way toward the image of a lady and there you go okay so we have our bio bidet all installed and it is functioning perfectly so if you have any other plumbing needs or if you need to install a bidet we can do it